Okay, guys, so I don't quite understand what I'm supposed to be doing here, but I equipped the smooth stone into my inventory, and I don't know if I, uh... Did I just use it on myself? Because I have no idea what the smooth silky stone does. You, you, give us smooth. Um, okay, so I probably... Yes, you! Give us silky! I probably really screwed that up. Um, <laughs> I mean, I don't get it because it doesn't specifically tell you what the smooth stone does. Did I pick up some new items? Huh, I I don't, I might have picked up another item, I wasn't paying attention, but uh, well anyway, you, there are plenty of opportunity to pick up more, so, I don't think there's really anywhere else to go from here, so I'm going to go ahead and climb down this ladder. Nobody's going to attack me while I'm down here, right? Let's see here, I'm trying to, I don't know, I guess it's this way. Cause I need to relight my torch. You did never know there's gonna be a crack in the ground. And I think the last thing you wanna do is fall through one and have to, having to retrieve all your souls all over again. Did my torch... My torch ran out. Well, that's quite unfortunate, then. I'm gonna have to go find another torch. Or I could try running through these. Okay. Yeah, I could just try running through these in pitch black. I mean, I'm just gonna have to be a little cautious, and of course, as I say that, I'm probably going to run straight into a trap. There's a tunnel right here. What does that say? While dashing. Wait, what? While dashing, dash, dashing, jump. I hadn't. I never. <laughs> I'm trying to do this. Huh. I thought you can jump as soon as you uh, get out of a roll. But, yeah. We, uh... Th this is a platforming thing right here. So I have to run and jump on that. Yeah. You know, I'm going to have to come back to this another time when I have torches. Because torches only last for five minutes. A piece. And I found a lot of torches. Did not mean to do that. I found a lot of torches previously, which means I'm not going to be able to light that up. I can return, revisit this place, and there's plenty of mist around here. But like I said, there is a statue right there. I don't exactly know what that means, but you probably need something in order to get it out of the way. Yeah, it's kind of blocking the pathway, so... I think by this point you don't really need a torch. This is pretty well lit up in here. And then we get to the point where we're reading messages, safe zone ahead. Of course some of these messages are just flat out trolls, so they're kind of funny. Sometimes they're helpful. Sometimes the, uh, the, the random ghouls that are popping out, you know, sometimes... Oops. Sometimes they're helpful too. I just used to think that they're annoying. See what other players are doing. But sometimes they're doing things that you're unaware of. 
it helps you go about doing certain things. I think there's another pathway somewhere around here. Yeah, it's like right over there. There are items here. There's also a, a, a well-hidden item someplace. So I'm going to have to do a little research and see exactly what the freaking smooth and silky stone, what it does. Because now I feel a little upset that I wasted a silky stone. I don't think, I think I used it on myself. I don't think I fed it to whatever those little creatures were. I don't know where I'm supposed to go, but I'm trying to get to this secret area. Somewhere along the shoreline, it's, uh, I think it's right here. Is this it? No, nope, that's not it. You see there's a little walkway along the edge of the hill here. I think it's right here. Yeah. Is it right here? I'm used to finding a puddle of blood. Because usually people die attempting certain things. That's what the puddle of blood means. It just means other players attempted to do something and they died. Usually you don't see what the source of their deaths are, but I did not mean to do that. I'm not going to take any... Okay. Okay. Right, you just jump down the little ledges here and you pick up a morning star so it's like a mace and you pick up a sacred chime I'm not sure how you pronounce that but it's like a magic wand of course I have no intention of using magic in this game I'm just not a fan of magic period binocular not exactly sure what that does either so you can just imagine he watch this I click on this and it shows you exactly how this guy dies yeah, he just walked right off the cliff like a dumbass. <laughs> it's no joke. They did say that platforming is like one of the biggest enemies of this game. And that's not a joke. I've fallen off platform plenty of times. We're going to go ahead and light up this bonfire. It activates fast travel. And I don't think I really need to do any healing. There is this uh, a woman down here. And she's the one that gives you upgrade abilities. Are you the next monarch? Or merely a pawn of fate? Bearer of the curse. I will remain by your side till this frail hope shatters. Take this with you. May it ease your journey. So she has given me the Estus Flask. This is the thing you use to restore the your health. To see the king. He who made Dranglake what it once was. He who peered at the essence of the soul. King Vendrin. Bearer of the curse, seek misery. For misery will lead you to greater, stronger souls. You will never meet the king with a soul so frail and pallid. So the thing is, sometimes you have to keep talking to the AI. It's recommended you talk to all of them. Try to exhaust their dialogue. You usually by the very end of their long speech, whatever it is they're trying to tell you. Sometimes they'll offer you something or give you something. Seek those whose names are unutterable. The four endowed with immense souls. Their souls will serve as beacons. Once you have found them, return here to me. So that hope will not fade away. So I'm assuming, like I said, I did not get that far into the game. I'm assuming she's saying that there are supposed to be like four big souls, which I'm assuming are four bosses. So, as soon as you defeat them, just bring their souls to her. And I'm not exactly sure what it does. Bearer of the curse. Seek souls. Larger, more powerful souls. Seek the king. That is the only way. Lest this land swallow you whole, as it has so many others. 
There we go. See, you have to exhaust your dialogues to a certain point, and then you have the ability to level up. Should I level up right now? I'm not going to. Let's go ahead and accumulate our soul. There's another guy up here. Um, he gives you something if you exhaust his dialogue, and it's pretty useful. You're undead, aren't you? You have that distinct scent, the smell of irreversible fate. This is Majula. It is a kind of settlement, a place where life is almost normal. And in Drang Lake these days, there are very few places like that. So I'm like saving a lot of seconds because I'm tapping the E toward the end of each sentence because they have extremely long pauses between dialogue and it's pretty annoying. I am Solden. And like you, I lost everything. And now I'm here. You probably heard that it was possible to break the curse here. Well, that's not true at all. There's nothing here for you, me, or anybody. Do you know much about souls? Even I'm not certain, but I'm told that the soul is the essence of life itself. Anything living, sentient or no, supposedly has one. What we call the curse is traceable to the soul. Do you see what that means? To be alive, to walk this earth. That's the real curse, right there. We, undead, will never die. And that's quite a predicament, really. Are we talking about how being alive is actually a curse, when most people view it as being a gift? There are four beings in this land, and wherever you go from here, you will sooner or later come up against them. Each has a powerful soul, and a terrible curse. If that frightens you, then you want to just give up right now, like I have. Yeah, I... They're trying to just foretell just how hard this game's gonna be, so... Do you ever cry out for help? The journey of an undead is long and treacherous. You will face invaders from other worlds at every time. There we go. If you need help, why not proclaim faith in the Blue Sentinels? When you face danger, the blue sentinels will come to your aid. Protection is yours, if you wish. You need only accept their kind embrace. So this is a like a uh, I think it's the way of blue covenant. So really, it's like calling for reinforcements at certain parts of the game. That is a wise decision. People are weak, but the blue sentinels watch over us in their benevolence. Let the sentinels cradle you in their embrace. Do you feel lonely here? It suits me just fine. As I have nothing left anyway, it will grow on you, this place. Give it some time. That guy is just extremely just depressing enter covenant learn gesture i think i'm actually good here may you find peace on your journey and here is a uh oh man so there has been 19 million 22,817 deaths <laughs> That's just how crazy this game is. And for the most part, there's a lot of times I've I've run into a lot of bugs in this game, and you know I I kind of blame them for about half of my deaths. A lot of times the camera lock-on system just doesn't seem to work, or it's very dysfunctional. And let's see, there's supposed to be a oops. 
I just like breaking these barrels. Who are you? Oh, it doesn't matter. Just help me open this door. I packed my tools in here. Seeing it was vacant, but now somebody's gone and locked the door. Makes me wonder if this is even his place. So yeah, the door is locked. So we're gonna have to go find a key somewhere in order to uh, unlock it. Of course, there's blood puddle here. Live gem, soul of a nameless soul. So somebody died right there. So I can imagine the average player freaking out about seeing these blood puddles because blood puddles mean death. He died running off of that. Is there a secret down there? I don't think... See, sometimes I feel like people do that on purpose. Because they're trying to troll you. They want you to think that maybe there's a secret down below. When there really isn't. So, I mean, you know, trolls like that. You gotta be on the lookout for. You know, I gotta look out for the... Where are the tents at? Some tents have hidden items in them. And there is a pit over here, which reminds me of... 300 if you guys ever seen that movie this is sparta it just kicks the dude right down the tunnel uh oh um, hello there w welcome to my uh, shop i'm morlin and i well i sell armor oh sorry i please do have a look at my wares i could really use the business if you'd be so kind they try to make you feel sympathetic to these guys, the way they talk and such, but uh, I'm not going to buy anything, but just to show you what he has, he does have, like, better shields. I do plan on using shields more often. I can't afford these. Uh, but I'm not going to right now. And then there's, uh, armor. Okay. thing about the armor is you can find a lot of armors simply by just killing enemies. And picking up their loot. You know, the loot system is pretty random. Well, I, I, well, I do hope I see you again. You will, don't worry. Yeah, the, the loot system is pretty random. Either they'll drop weapons, or they'll drop pieces of armor, or just regular items. There is another chest here, though. And here we get a uh, Titanite Shard. That's what you use to upgrade your weapons when you open up Black Shop. I still wonder how... I think that guy got invaded. I think a player just invaded and attacked him here. So the thing about invasion is... It didn't automatically equip it, did it? Nope. I need to equip it now. So there are some downsides about the invasion. One is, like I already mentioned before, you have hackers. And that is one of the biggest cons of this game. It's plagued with hackers. Um, number two is the dishonorable fashion that these invaders bring to you. What I mean by that is usually when you're in the middle of fighting off an ambush of enemies or fighting off a boss, those invaders will backstab you. They will wait until you're already preoccupied and busy fighting off enemies only to stab you in the back. And I think that's because you get an award for successfully invading and assassinating the person you've invaded and to me that is a very cheap shot um, they have done it a lot but don't get me wrong there are some generous players they'll like sit back and they'll wait for you to finish off whatever it is that you're doing and then they'll fight you when the area is clear so you have you know some people that are just nice like that but most players they will hide I mean, like, baby back bitchin' hide. <laughs> it's not even funny. You're, like, searching for them because it tells you when you're being invaded. And they will hide, 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 waiting until you're fighting enemies. And there's a swarm of pigs back here that you really gotta be on the lookout for. Not only do they take forever to kill, they take a long time to kill. I don't know why they have so much health. It's gotta be some fucking tasty bacon if you do manage to kill them all and cook them on a Sunday morning for breakfast. But 
they take a long ass time to kill and you yield so little souls and kill him. Can I break this? Okay, I don't think so. Well, I did not tap that one more time. Uh, you know, using your weapon to strike items like bases, tables, or even brick walls, it does deteriorate your weapon. You, you do have to deal with durability in this weapon, kind of like Dead Island if you're familiar with it. The more you hit objects, or enemies with it the more it weakens and you have to repair them and you can simply do that by sitting at the bonfire oh undead are we and one without much time remaining yep talking cat just about ready to fall apart i'd say not exactly the time to be chatting with a cat well suit yourself oh yes you may call me shakwa Enchanté. Shalqua. So, what did you want anyway? Ooh, you smell wonderful. <laughs> Get it? Because he's dead, he's a hollow, he smells wonderful. <laughs> so yeah, you can buy, uh, I think they're like certain potions and rings from this person. Magical item, but I don't need any of it Nothing right now. Suited you, I presume? <laughs> Again, the music is a little depressing. I just I could turn it off. If you go back here, going down there, we're actually progress through the story. I already picked up whatever is over there. But the uh, ah, camera. So if you're walking up against a wall, you're gonna have a hard time controlling your camera. So yeah, you, you progress through down there, progress through the story, it takes you to the ruins. But if you go back here... Lots of blood puddles, so... I can't tell either they've been attacked and killed by those pigs, or they've been invaded. i pick up this item over here, it's a homeward bone. Those homeward bones actually, uh... You can use them to instantly fast travel to the nearest bonfire. Or the last bonfire you visited, I think. I think this is another covenant right here. And... I'm not going to join it. I heard it's supposed to be like the hardest covenant. I, I think you... Uh, you can't get any reinforcements from other players. Which is kind of the opposite of the covenant I just joined. I like having backup because they are pretty helpful at times. They can point you in the right direction. They can show you where hidden areas are and such and such I'm gonna go ahead and head down here because there is a shield down here that I want to pick up I'm not going to travel all the way through but what does this message say dark spirit ahead again not sure where all these blood puddles come from again I think it's because players just invade contraption does not move I think you need like a certain pharaoh stone for that, which is something you'll learn over time. Illusion ahead. <clears throat> Makes me think there's an illusionary wall right here. Of course, that's also another problem with this game. Sometimes people will place those messages like literally right in front of an item that requires your own, for you to press the action button. But what happens is the action button is going to end up activating the message instead of the action. Like right here, you see how he put the message right in front of the chest. So it, it can make it troublesome. So if he had just placed that message a little further, closer to the chest, it, I would have had a toggle through the action button. It's just, it, it can be a headache sometimes. And this is the Crimson Parma. This is supposed to be a shield. And I don't think there are any enemies over there, but we're going to go ahead and head back. I think what I'm going to do is head back to the bonfire, do my upgrade. Do I have another torch? I haven't been paying attention. I don't have another torch. Because I wanted to head back into that cave and finish lighting up the place. Exploring. Of course my stamina is so low. 
Now, I don't know if uh, I should be upgrading my stamina, my endurance, or as a lot of people suggest, just focus mostly on your dexterity and your strength because you got to be able to have the ability to wield weapons that you pick up. If your stats don't measure up to it, you can still use a weapon, it's just going to be a massive strain on your body. Either it's going to really drain your stamina quicker, or it's not going to be as effective. So we're going to head to this lady over here and do a little upgrading. I think before I do that, because I want to do a little more upgrading. Can I do it here? Soul of a Nameless Soldier. So yeah, you can pick up souls, as I've already picked up a few. And it gives you more souls. And then we have another one. That one gives you 800. So now I got plenty more souls to use. This thing is a black separation crystal. Banish Phantom. It's not exactly sure what that does yet. But I also have a flask uh, upgrade thing. Is that a shard? Here. Let me see it to see light. However faint it might be. So yeah, she saw the Estes Black Shard, which I picked up from the well. That's kind of a hidden thing, but you use that to upgrade your flask. What that does is it allows you to use the flask more than once. Usually you can only use it once per bonfire because it rebuilds every time you sit at the bonfire. So pick up more. Do I have another one? I do not. So it's all good. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a little leveling up. So as you can see now... I have different stats. There's a lot of stats here. About nine of them. You have your vigor, which is pretty much your health. So if you just uh, hover over any of these, if you look on the right, there's two categories. You know, they highlight. So those are the areas that are going to be upgraded. So like here, stamina. To me, I find stamina like pretty much the most crucial. I do a lot of dodging and such. So I really like to focus on that, but since I like to wield weapons, I probably should focus on dexterity more than anything right now. Of course the cost is going to cost 948 souls at the moment. So let's, uh, let's get one in for endurance. Oh, that's all I can do. Alright, so we're just going to do dexterity. And we'll save the other souls for another time. I have 585 souls remaining. There we go. And now I have two flasks that I forgot to equip. Here we go. And then we'll equip a stone right here. 